Hello and welcome to a new episode about using open source software to operate the CNC. In this episode I'm going to talk about REST machining and about stock aware machining. They are two very useful functions, they reduce a lot of air time. Of course there is a big difference between the two things. In this video I will explain what REST machining means. I will also show you what stock aware machining means and I will show how to create operations using FreeCAD because that's what I'm using and how to optimize them using the REST machining option. Also which of the operations work using the stock aware machining because for now only one operation works with that feature. Even though you don't use FreeCAD you might find the information in this video very useful because I'm talking about some options that are also available in a lot of other programs so you might find it useful to know what exactly do they mean and how to use them, when to use them, what's their benefit and which are the downsides of course. Because just as for any other thing, there are also some downsides. But before proceeding, I want to thank everyone that is supporting me through my Patreon page, through a membership on my Patreon page. It helps me a lot to keep on doing what I'm doing. If you don't feel ready to subscribe, you can also find there two options, a $10 big thanks or a $3 thank you. They help me a lot. You can also find the thanks on the YouTube page. But if you subscribe to my Patreon page, besides helping me, you will also gain access to the videos without interruptions and to the file that I'm working on in each of my video. You can find them there, download them and study them. Check out everything that is set up in each of the files. So let's get started. I have a file already prepared here. It consists of two objects, a body which is just a flat piece of material with a hole here and a stock which has a shape a little bit odd. I've created this especially to show you the stock aware machining and to make you understand the difference between the two options, the rest machining and the stock aware machining. I have also created a job with a 6 mm end mill and an eighth of an inch end mill, a 3.175 mm end mill. I have set the speeds for both of them exactly the same. It doesn't really matter to explain what I want to explain to you. Let's get started, deleted the operations already created, let's go to the CAM workbench and create the first operation. We will make a facing operation for our piece of material. So let's select this face, click on the mill face operation, select the tool controller that I want to use, which in this case is the 6mm end mill, click on the OK button. Now first let's click on the apply button to see what is going to happen with the default settings. If I click on the apply button, you can see I have a lot of zigzag movements at 45 degrees, which cover the entire face on the entire height of this object. So now let's change this pattern from zigzag to zigzag offset because I think it's a much better option. It does this milling on the edge. This means I won't have any rough shapes at the edges of the object that I'm milling. In this situation, the corners will have a small material left over, a round over material because of the shape of the toolbit. How can I clean these little pieces in the corners? Well, I have an option here which is clear edges. If I click on the apply button, you can see now the milling is on the entire face of the object, but you have to take into account that this means the cutter will slightly get out of the shape of the object with half of the diameter so it can run exactly on the edge. Now I will close this operation, click on the OK button because I want to show you first what REST machining is. For that I will hide the toolpath to be easier to select faces. I will select this face and create a pocket shape operation. It's a simple pocket. If I click on apply you can see the toolpath again. I have the default zigzag so the zigzag offset is the way to go to clear the edges and as you can see the start height of the operation is the maximum height of the stock. You can see an outline of the stock and that the operation is starting at the maximum height. It doesn't take into account that for this hole the starting depth could be a little lower because the stock isn't as high in this area. So now let's click on the OK button to close the pocket shape operation. Let's also turn the visibility for the mill face, select it and press space. And now you can see that there is a lot of overlapping here. The lines that are for the pocket operation start way too high because I have already milled everything up to this level using the mill face operation. So how do I solve this? There are two options. The one that I don't recommend but sometimes it is useful. Double click on the operation to edit it. Go to the depth tab. Select the face and click on this little arrow which is the start depth. You can see it automatically filled here in the field and now it will start from that point. But I will click on the cancel button to undo everything and click again on the pocket operation and I have another option here which is use rest machining. As you can see in the description 
description it says check to skip machining regions that have already been cleared by previous operations so let's check it click on the apply button and see what happens because it is something really useful it saves a lot of time and does this automatically you don't have to worry about forgetting something forgetting an operation and risking to generate some dangerous toolpath to break the tool bit or even worse so this will take into account the already existing operation the mill face and it will mill only the material left just as in the description of the rest machining option it takes into account what has already been milled by previous operations you can have 100 operations it doesn't really matter it will take all of them into account and mill only the material that hasn't been milled yet of course just as with anything in FreeCAD you can also change this value from the data tab here so here is use rest machining it is set to true I will leave it like this and I will show you when it doesn't work because I've said in previous videos that it has some problems for sure it does but meanwhile I have discovered what things makes it go wrong and how to set everything up in order to get the correct result I have also been told that this is not rest machining the thing that I want to obtain with this pocket below the surface is not rest machining in Instead, I've been told that rest machining is something else, which indeed is rest machining, but is just a particular case of rest machining. Let me show you what I'm talking about, because this is also very useful in a lot of situations. So I have this pocket operation using the six millimeters end mill, which means that at the inside corners, all the four corners, I will have some round over left by that tool bit. If I want to mill that extra material with a smaller tool bit, making a new operation and having all this tool path is a waste of time. So let's just copy copy the operation using this button and double click on it go to the tool controller and select the 3.175 millimeters end mill click on the apply button and because I still have the use rest machining option enabled let me just show you what Frica does after closing this operation the more operations I have in the tree the slower it calculates which is a normal thing let's turn off the visibility for the initial pocket shape and as you can see this is something very useful because it only mills those corners it doesn't make all the movement it saves a huge amount of time it is a very useful option and I've been told that this is rest machining yes it is but it's just a particular case also the thing that it does taking into account the previous operations is also rest machining I've told you at the beginning of the video that I'm going to talk about two things about rest machining and about stock aware machining stock aware machining means that I have a certain shape to start with and all the operations will take into account the shape that I'm going to start with the correct shape that is why I also have this body here which defines the shape of the stock and when creating the job in the setup tab you have the option instead of the default extend models bounding box you have the option to use existing solid select it from the list mine is called stock probably I should have named it a little bit different because also the default name of the object created is stock so there might be some confusion but anyway it also works with that name selecting this shape as the stock that I'm going to cut your software in my case FreeCAD should out automatically adapt all the toolpath to only mill the necessary material to get to the required shape from the shape that I'm starting with. I have created this mill face operation because it is the only operation in FreeCAD that currently takes into account the shape of the stock and let me show you what happens when I double click on the operation and instead of boundary shape bound box I will select stock. Click on the OK button and as you can see it mills all this material from here but in this area where the stock is also at the same level to the final shape that I want to obtain it will only mill one layer to flatten everything up so this is stock aware machining this means it takes into account a predefined shape and the g-code for the operations will be generated based on that shape so the difference between rest machining and stock aware machining is what shape it takes into account to generate the g-code the stock aware machining takes a predefined shape which doesn't modify no matter how many operations I make rest machining always relies on the result of the previous operation it doesn't matter if the operation is identical to the previous one the faces are the same rest machining should take that into account and it does it pretty well except one situation I will now hide the mill face operation so let me show you the situation in which rest machining doesn't work in this situation as you can see the pocket operation is generated correctly it does doesn't mill anything above this surface which has already been milled by the mill face operation but if I edit the mill face operation change the pattern from zigzag offset to offset click on the apply button you can see now the pattern the offset pattern click on the ok button and now recompute the pocket shape operation 
you can see that the rest machining isn't working anymore as it should neither does the second operation let's just turn its visibility on and recompute it let's change the pattern for this operation also to offset click on the apply button click on the ok and now the final operation when recomputing it let's see what happens as you can see i have a lot of weird movement i have a column here that is milled up to the top of the stock also i don't know how visible it is also on these sides i have some weird movement this movement here also shouldn't be there it should just mill the corners from this level downwards well it doesn't do that and that is because of the offset operation so rest machining simply doesn't work with offset i've tried all the other options with zigzag it works okay with zigzag offset it works best because zigzag offset also clears the edges all the material possible it also works okay with line let me just recompute the two operations maybe i should right click and select recompute object the second one still won't work okay because i haven't changed the pattern for the pocket shape i will also change it from offset to line recompute both objects and as you can see i have a pretty okay -ish result here it does this wavy thing because i have the line pattern which doesn't clear the edges if i want to do that i should select an operation which also clears the edges the only operation that correctly clears the edges is the zigzag offset or the offset of course but the offset doesn't work with the rest machining so i have only one option left which is this zigzag offset and now if i recompute the last operation and turn its visibility on you can see that the result is exactly what i want to get which is these corners milled exactly as i want just the extra material left so the problem with rest machining that i've talked about in previous videos and i've been told that that's not the way rest machining should work are in fact some issues due to the offset pattern set to offset not to zigzag offset or any other option that i have the rest machining option works correctly does take into account previous operations no matter if they are identical for the same shape or not it takes them into account correctly only if i don't have the offset pattern if i have offset pattern selected for now at least in this version which is 1.1 development version it simply doesn't work as it should but this is rest machining the stock aware machining as i've told you refers to the initial shape that i want to mill to the stock and the only operation for now that works correctly using the stock aware option the boundary shape set a stock is the mill face operation i've tried several other operations such as 3d surface the adaptive operation also doesn't take into account the shape of the stock the pocket operation doesn't take it into account but if you take a look at the mill face operation you can easily tell it's almost identical to the pocket shape operation there are just a little bit of differences when setting it up such as clear edges the boundary shape but the pocket and the mill face operation are similar so if you really need a stock aware operation instead of pocket use the mill face operation and you will get the same result just to show you let me delete these two pocket operations i still have the mill face here but i will hide it in order to be able to select this face select the face click on the mill face option click on the apply button for now it works exactly as the pocket operation it starts from the highest point so let's change the pattern to zigzag offset click on the apply button again now i also have the outline that will clear most of the material and now if i want to limit the movement i will check the use rest machining click on the apply button and the operation is limited to just what it really needs to be milled just this pocket it is exactly the same result as in a pocket operation i have almost exactly the same options so i hope you understood what exactly rest machining is it means taking into account the previous operations no matter if they are different if they have different base geometry if they have different starting depth if they have different end depth rest machining should take that into account and it does it except when the operation has the offset option in that case rest machining doesn't work well it does take some shapes into account but it will also generate some movement above the starting depth that it should have so if you want to use the rest machining just go with the zigzag offset and everything should be okay if you want to have a stock aware operation the mill face for now is the only one that works but i'm sure in the near future all the other operations will be able to 
take into account the shape of the stock and limit the air time because as you can see the mill face operation now takes 18 minutes 52 seconds if i change the boundary shape from stock to bound box and recompute the operation now it takes 34 minutes so from 34 minutes to just 18 minutes it is a huge difference having this option to use the shape of the stock in certain situations is a huge time saver also the rest machining works incredibly good it is very useful but i still have to show you something about the rest machining let me just change this back to stock recompute the operation hide the mill face operation let's create the same pocket operation here change to zigzag offset and check use rest machining now it is limited to the movement that i have here there are some situations when you need to take really good care when using the rest machining option let me just show you what i'm talking about when i move the pocket shape operation before the mill face operation as you can see nothing is taken into account if i export the job the cnc will first mill this pocket but it will start from this height in order to avoid that i have to select the operations click on the recompute object and now you can see that it will start from the correct height i can also use the rest machining option on the mill face and it should avoid cutting this area click on the apply button as you can see it avoids cutting what has already been cut so rest machining works incredibly well if you don't use the offset pattern with zigzag offset it works okay well the pattern that i'm referring to is the pattern of the previous operations not the operation the current operation that is using rest machining so if you are going to make a project in which you'll use rest machining make sure you don't use offset for any of the operations also take care when modifying the order of the operations don't forget to recompute them now let me change the order back again recompute the objects and show you another situation where rest machining is not behaving as it should or at least in my opinion because safety should be the first thing taken into account so i have set everything back as it was before first the mill face operation and then the pocket but what if i delete or disable the mill face operation now the mill face operation is disabled but the pocket shape hasn't been computed take care to these little details always double check the toolpath generated because in this situation since this hole is in this position yes there won't be any danger but let's edit the body edit the sketch and let's move it inside the higher point of the stock click on the close button now it computes everything okay let's enable again the mill face operation let's recompute the pocket shape and as you can see now it starts from the lower depth from the depth of this face but if i disable the mill face operation it will start from the same point so i will have a huge amount of plunge in the first pass which most probably will break the tool bit so make sure that whenever enabling disabling or even deleting previous operations recompute the operations that are using the rest machining because after recompute everything works okay as you can see so i've explained to you what rest machining is i have also explained to you what stock aware machining is and the difference between the two of them you can really save a lot of time by using these two options hopefully soon enough all the other operations will have the option to take into account the stock shape for now only the mill face operation does it thank you for watching see you next time for the next video about using open source software for your cnc